Besties please don't drag me, my boyfriend broke the closet door behind me putting his work clothes away, it looks very trashy but the grind doesn't stop, he was out at Home Depot while I was filming so it will be fixed for the next video lol, love you. Hey there besties, how are we doing today? So I know I said I wasn't gonna film a video today but like, I found a little bit of time so I'm really hoping that I'm gonna get this out today, or else I'll, I'll, I'll cry. Spoiler alert! I did not get this out today, but I'm editing it now, lol. So, this beautiful Saturday, I guess maybe Sunday, depending on when I get this out, but anyways, we're going to react into Miss Amberlynn's newest Weight Watchers video. And, um, having some deja vu because the thumbnail is, like, literally the same. She's eating Raymond. Same toward cardigan and all besties, lol. Of course, because we love a good diet moment. And this video is, interestingly enough, titled Gaining Weight, Doing Weight Watchers. So, with that being said, let's do this. Hey guys, welcome to a new video. Okay, so today is January 27th, day 27 of weighing in for 100 days. Oh so boy. here it is. So I don't know if you guys like actually want me to keep doing these like weigh-ins. Please let me know. Um, I know in my personal life, I will definitely be still weighing in every single day. It's just what I like to do. It is what it is. Today is day two on Weight Watchers. If you guys saw my last video. Oh, we did. Um, I kind of went into the negatives of my weekly points. You know, yeah, we know, girly. I still logged everything. Girl, I don't want to nitpick, but her hair is either like wet or really greasy, girly. Come on. Also, do you think wifey got her that necklace? I bet you we're going to hear about it if she did. It was very hard to log everything at that point, but I still did it. I want to like hold myself accountable. You guys, I want to show you something that my girlfriend got me. I've always wanted one of these. Okay, let me turn around. I have okay. always wanted one of these rose Aww. bears. Okay, that's sweet. And she heard me say it. This was, it has to be like a few months ago. I was actually on the phone with my mom and she heard me say it. Cute. And so she surprised me with one and I'm literally obsessed. Guys, I want my boyfriend to get me one of those, but he won't. I keep like subliminally hinting that I want one and I've also directly said that I want one, but he won't buy me one. Like what? I think we should all shame him in the comments. No, I'm just kidding, but no, I'm not kidding. Everything my girlfriend's ever gotten me has been like the sweetest, most thoughtful shit ever. Me too. Dang, I love the like shade at Becky, like as if Becky's gifts aren't like thoughtful. Girly. <laughs> She's over here because I have like the best girlfriend ever. Oh. Oh, my hair. Okay. It's already drying, kind of curly. Okay, so it was what? So for okay. my first meal, I'm having a sandwich. Not those Cheetos, Cheetos again, Cheetos. bestie. This is 12 points. The bread is two points. The chicken is one point. The pepper jack cheese is three points. Light mayo is one point or two points. I don't remember. Uh, Cheetos is five points. So. That is I don't know, I'm girly. Also, why am I literally on her shirt? Why is that me? I think she's a fan. <laughs> <laughs> I'm my girlfriend. Just kidding. Okay, guys, next meal. Of course, you gotta have that ramen. Ramen. If you wanna see how I make it, watch the last video I did. It's honestly so amazing. So, I don't know if I need to for know a that. chicken ramen. Oh, we did see that. And then she just added more salt, basically. There's already so many sodiums in that, and she added more salt, garlic salt specifically. Then is 14 points. So, it is kind of hefty, but that's okay. Look how is freaking it? amazing. Should I go for it? Oh, it's so quirky. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> Oh my goodness, girly. You're crazy. This is how I used to eat literal noodles when I was younger. I would just be like... Ugh. Girl, she's so out of control. I just can't with her. Like, I can't bring her... <laughs> I'm just looking at this frame I just freezed on. Froze on. Sorry. I just froze on. I'm doing her dirty right now. But in all fairness, she's, she was doing this and I kind of just paused. So she kind of is doing herself dirty in, in more ways than one. I digress. <laughs> I'm an adult now. Okay, so I'm in the middle of eating my ramen, I'm actually almost done. But okay. there's a conspiracy that in this video that I'm showing you that I was drinking nothing or drinking water because I didn't talk about this again? while drinking it. I'm able to handle rum rather easily. I didn't even know that was like a conspiracy that like, oh my God, you have to be like making a face. But I will say, I do have a clip, maybe two, of me making a face that I did edit out. Just to prove to you guys that I really- Was that a face? In all fairness, girly, I wouldn't say that was a face. But, I don't know if it's because, like- <laughs> I'm very 
very familiar with the sound of alcohol in a bottle. Not from me, but, you know, childhood trauma. I think I did hear some liquidation swinging around in there. I guess that doesn't necessarily mean that she was drinking it. But there, I, I think that there was something in the bottle. I don't know, though. I don't care that much. <laughs> I feel like it's definitely, like, way more cringy if she's pretending to drink. Because, like, that's, like, yeah, that's definitely more cringy. That's, like, what I would do in middle school. Like, I would tell my friends, like, oh, like, I got so drunk last night. And, like, I literally hadn't had a sip of alcohol until I was, like, in my, in my, when I was 21. Obviously, when I was 21. Obviously. <laughs> Duh. <laughs> Truth Tino, if you're under 21, don't drink because I will call the police on you and also it really isn't as fun as it looks and it's dangerous and addictive and hangovers are the worst. Sorry, hashtag buzzkill, hashtag I do not drink now that I'm an adult. Also, do you really want to look as ridiculous as Jonklin looked on her live streams? No, ma'am. Ew! Really was drinking Um, after I ended that vlog. I did get a little tipsy, if you will. But y'all, not everything in my life is a conspiracy. I can promise you that. Really? Okay, you guys, next meal, I'm having Chipotle. Of course, the bowl really. is, I think, 13 points. Um, I have it in my thing. I just know as a, as a whole, this is 33 points. Whoa. So, um, Isn't that a lot, though? Maybe it's not, I guess. If she's got, like, I don't, I don't know. I guess that is a lot, right? Because if she's got, like, over 80 points, that's, like, I don't know how to do quick math. I'm not gonna pretend like I know what percent that is, but I feel like that's a large portion of 80 points just for like one like meal. I just hiccuped. I'm only gonna have half of the queso. It was supposed to come with chips, but it didn't. So I'm just gonna have this small bag of Doritos, but there's chicken in here, yeah. cheese, beans, fajita veggies, rice, and lettuce. So a little yeah. bit for you. Yeah, this is another one of them thoughtful situations. I was telling my girlfriend that I love having like just like a small blanket in the car especially for winter. I love cuddling with a blanket. I do too. Even in the car. She surprised me with a car blanket. I mean, it's like- Oh my God, that's so sweet. Oh my God, we need so muffled. Titi. Baby kitty, kitten, come quick. Come this better be good. Yeah, wifey is so thoughtful. She's so WTF, thoughtful. that's all okay by then, thanks. <laughs> okay, bye. It just like literally makes me nauseous. <laughs> like, I guess I'm glad she's happy, but like, it feels so forced because like it's so much like it feels like she's just saying it because like she thinks she should say it because like like for me like my boyfriend makes me very happy and i love him very much but i don't need to say that like every day every chance i get to like anyone who will listen even though i could because he is very handsome because like girl they don't care they don't i don't I don't want to say I don't care. That's kind of mean. But, like, I don't need to hear this much about how much you love your your girlfriend. You know? Like, I, I'm happy you're happy. That's about all I really need to know. My car blanket. It's a blanket that she got that I can keep in the car. Wow. Thoughtful. Girlfriend goals. Hot twink. Hi, baby girl. <laughs> Hot oh twink. <laughs> she used to be so bad with car rides. When I first got this little girl. Oh, my God. I've had Twinkie for, like, seven years. Can you believe it? She actually had to take anxiety medicine when she was in the car. Aww. And then eventually she got a little bit better, but she still, like, shook, panted because she just has major car anxiety. But for some reason, the I last know. few car rides, she's been totally fine because she's usually, like, on the floorboard crying. She's Poor little baby. But she stays up in the seat. She's like, I'm fine, and she just Mom. enjoys herself. Like, she's just, I like, content. That. No shaky, no panty, no signs of anxiety. And I freaking love that so much. But, yeah. Okay, get girly. you a partner who gets you a blanket for the car. Just saying. Hey guys, okay, so January 28, here is my weigh in for you guys. So I am gaining weight, even though I started Weight Watchers. Yeah, we know. Girl! <laughs> so, I mean, that leads me to believe that that, like, estimate that that girl that I, like, stole her comment, that leads me to believe that she probably was being, you know, it was an accurate assumption. Because, like, if you're following your points, or even, like, close to your points, you shouldn't be gaining, like, actually gaining that much weight. Because I would, ass I don't know, but I would assume Weight Watchers, probably, like, the points are supposed to equal, like, I don't know, 1,300 calories? I don't, I don't know. I'm just estimating it's kind of like a like general caloric deficit kind of number so like going 20 over i don't know would that make it like 1500 i don't know but even then like you shouldn't be gaining weight per se so that makes me think like a weight watchers is whack at least for amberlynn and b that girl that i snatched her comment probably was pretty spot on with the calorie assumption because if you're eating almost 4,000 calories a day you're gonna gain weight <laughs> surprise <laughs> i feel like at night i'm kind of binging on mcdonald's i truly don't wow. know like why 
I am having that I think I know why. It's because you're being enabled to do that. And you don't have somebody strong enough to be like, girly, absolutely not. Girl, you know what I think? I think that you should invite me into your home for like a month. I'm not kidding, girl. I will do it. I'm not kidding. I don't, I'd be very uncomfortable, but I would do it. If you let me stay in your house for a month, <laughs> girl, I will get you in gear because I'm not afraid to be like, bestie girl, I will throw your phone out that window if you order a McDonald's right now, bestie. Apparently, wifey is not strong. I don't want to say she's not strong enough. I don't know her, but she she isn't she isn't in the mood to be like, girly, uh-uh. Slap those chicky nuggies out of your hand, girly, because you're on a diet and you don't need those chicky nuggies, girly. You need to get yourself in check. And you remember how good it felt when you're losing weight? Let's get you back there, bestie. I'll be your life coach. <laughs> Wait. Can I be Amberlynn Reed's life coach? I'll do it. I'll do it for like five dollars, like total, because I don't I don't have any legitimate experience. So I think five dollars is fair. <laughs> now I would do it for free. In all seriousness, obviously she's not. But if she was interested, I would do it for free because I, for some reason, something in me still believes in her. And I think it's because in a weird way, we have a lot in common. I guess, I guess I could elaborate further at, at some point if you're interested. So seeing a lot of myself in her makes me feel like if I gave up on her, this is gonna get kind of deep. It makes me feel like if I gave up on her, I'm kind of giving up on my childhood self, I guess, who was in this situation type deal. And I know I was able to get out of it. So I know that she's able to get out of it. You know what I mean? Cause I think anyone's capable of recovering whatever way that could be if they really try. She just needs apparently somebody to push her to try because she frankly is not able to do that on her own, which is okay. Getting help is great. Love getting help. I've gotten help, bestie. Like, love help. Anyway, I digress. Just do better, please. Also, I really like that, like, wooden base she has with, like, the little plant. That's really cute. I did it again last night. So that's two nights yeah, in a row that I girly. did it. And I promised myself that it's not happening again tonight. Like, I literally promised myself. I'm Don't. just becoming more frustrated with myself because for a while there, like, I was doing really good. And I kind of just, like, slipped off of that, like, good streak. Yeah. And I gotta be honest, it's worrying me because you guys know in the past when this happens... I tend to gain a lot of weight back. Yeah. Like that's what happened last year. I went all that's the way true. to my heaviest by like three pounds. And I cannot let that happen this time. No, my girlfriend don't. is super supportive. Is she? And it's a support that I've never like had before. But she can't lose the weight for me. This is ultimately up no, to me. No, but she can encourage you not to get McDonald's. <laughs> and like, like, for example, when you did that like Starbucks haul, she also got stuff. So she's not really discouraging you if like, not only is she allowing you to get these things, she's participating in it, right? Because you, you even said like with Becky, like Becky did that. And Becky was bad and not supportive or whatever, right? So what makes wifey different? Because she buys you like those flower teddy bear things and like gives you hickeys. <laughs> like not to be a jerk, but like what's 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 new? I know a lot of people are like, I wonder why Amberlynn's not doing good anymore. I guess her girlfriend's not supportive anymore. Yes, she is. People can <laughs> She just called me out. <laughs> I mean, she can be, she can say she's supportive all she wants, but like, is she? Like, let's have a, let's have a deep analysis moment, bestie. Is she really supportive or is she saying she's supportive? Is she saying like, go Amrylin, like go girly, like you're killing it, go off bestie. Or is she not making any effort to encourage you to not get McDonald's? And like I always say, obviously it's not her responsibility, like what goes in your body. But I feel like in a way, as your partner, she is kind of partially responsible to keep you on track because she lives with you. Like she's your family, kind of, right? So I feel like it's, this is a harsh word, but it's the word that came to mind. It's kind of pathetic that you're suffering this much and it seems like she's not doing anything. Like you can say you're being supportive all day long till you're blue in the face, but are you actually? When it comes down to Amberlynn on her phone, about to door dash some McDonald's, are you doing anything to stop her? Or are you just like, eh, go off. Actions speak louder than words. <laughs> can't lose weight for me. It's it's up to me and only me. And I'm just here to admit, I suck. So anyway. Girl, okay, you don't suck. You don't suck. You have an eating disorder, but if you put in the work, you can conquer it. I know you can, I did it girly. You just gotta get your butt in check. And if wifey is really so supportive, she's gotta keep your butt in check also. You just, you just gotta, you just gotta push yourself. You gotta maybe get impatient there. Like you just gotta do more than you're doing. You're not doing enough. Like there's nothing wrong with getting help. Like I, I'll say that forever. If you need help, get help. No shame. I think there's more shame in needing help and not getting help. If you need help and get help, that's brave. Cause then you're admitting that you're weak. And admitting that you're weak is actually a very strong thing to do. Is moving on from that. It okay. snowed last night. It's actually snowing. <gasps> Still a little bit. So much. And we have to give you daily dose of rarity in her condo. Oh, thank you. Hey, baby. Love it. The Did I wake you up from your nap? 
Oh, I love her oh little paws. Let's go find Twinkie. <laughs> Give you guys a daily dose of Thank you. animal this is the loving. Because who doesn't love an animal? Agreed. I think I know where she is too. In the office? <gasps> yes. She has a little bed in the uh -huh. office. She's so sweet. Look at her little Look dude. Okay. That's from the bark. Let's box find Wasabi. Thing, he has his spots where he's like low key impossible to find. Where is he today? Let's see. Oh, <laughs> in my girlfriend's closet. Look. Baby boy. <laughs> Baby. Oh, he's out like a light. Alone, okay, yeah. so a daily dose Cute. of. I just got really confused because I turned off the light, but then this light, this light stayed on. I don't even know. Daily dose of animals. So yeah. I'm actually going to end this vlog. I do hope that you guys enjoyed it. I've been enjoying vlogging and I will yeah. see you guys in my next one. Bye. All right, besties. So that was today's video. Uh, what are we thinking? Tell me the the honest truth. Do you think that Wifey is actually being supportive like behind the scenes and Amberlynn's just like blowing her off? Or do you think Wifey could and should be doing more? I think we all know my opinion, but what's yours? I'm not always right. Uh... I'm a Taurus, okay? So, like, I'm always right, but I'm not always right. You feel me? You feel me. I'm just very stubborn, okay? Okay. All right, well, thank you so much for spending minutes of your life with me. Please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe on your way out. I mean, join that grandchildren army right here, right now. I don't know what's wrong. I'm sorry. I have problems. <laughs> And uh, yeah, speaking of uh, subscribe, I gotta give an extra special shout out to my beloved channel members, my best friends. Seabell, Senya, Sophie Watson, Blukey, Betty, Katie Butler, Elizabeth W, Chloe D, Panda, Fonda Silva, Mystic Magic Luna Meowers, Joey, Pokey2, Tori Kelleher, Elizabeth Richardson, Roly Poly Toad, No Spoons, Only Knives, Saber Sword Song, Phineas the Hedgehog, Mrs. Lugo, Despite Myself, Olivia Cat, Tori V, Lewis Christian, Jasmine Levon, April, Angelina Rafut, and last but not least, Delete Button Nostalgia with a little, little thumbs down emoji. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for giving Grandma just a little bit of extra support. It goes a long way. I love you. I appreciate you. I just, I, I, I just love you. You guys believe in me because it makes me believe in myself a little bit more. And I believe in all of you guys because I, you're my best friend. So obviously I believe in you and me. Come on. All right, question of the day. I feel like I might have already asked this, but I'm gonna ask it again because I forgot. <laughs> what is your Chipotle order? Your Chipotle Magoo order? I usually go with a burrito bowl. I get uh, pinto beans, uh, cheese, chicken, uh, white rice, obviously guacamole, uh, lettuce, uh, fajita veggies, that like not spicy salsa, whatever that one's called because I'm painfully Caucasian. Sometimes I feel daring, I'll also do sour cream. Tell me yours because I'll try it, because that'd be fun. Oh my gosh, wait, before I go, hold on. Uh, I'm just gonna, <laughs> I was gonna go grab the ice cream, then I decided that I'm too lazy, but I'll put a picture of the ice cream, right? Final review. The best one is honey bun, but it doesn't taste like honey buns. It tastes kind of like, like it gives me fall vibes, right? The chocolate ice cream, like in all the chocolate flavors was very like mid tier, like it was not the best chocolate ice cream. The zebra cake one was very good though. I liked like the vanilla ice cream that was lit. They all kind of have like little chunks of like the nostalgic pastry in them, but I would like to see more. Like it wasn't enough, you know what I mean? It just tasted like, like Cosmic Brownie was just like chocolate ice cream, like, like basic chocolate ice cream with like those little sprinkle things, like every so often in the ice cream, for example. Would I recommend them? Absolutely, because it was still an iconic experience. Good luck getting those at Walmart. Right, besties. Thank you so much for spending beautiful minutes of your beautiful life. Yeah, I'll go with that, with me. I love you very much. I appreciate you. I will see you soon. I think you'll see me next very, very puffy because I'm getting my wisdom teeth out Monday and I'm terrified of it. I'm not going under. I'm just getting numbing, sh you know, lidocaine shots and I'm very scared. And this wisdom tooth is impacted, so it might be a little bit of a hassle, but I'm a workaholic, so I'm sure I'll be back before I should be. I'm not gonna lie, getting the impacted wisdom tooth out was kind of traumatic and I would recommend going under if you can, but I'm fine and the pain is manageable with medicine. I'm just very dramatic as we all know, but I'm okay, lol. All right, I love you, love you, love you, and just I want you to have the best day ever, okay? Okay. <sighs> Thank you.